I very much am in the Halloween mood, but I don't have Halloween pajama pants. I have plenty of Christmas ones though. I think this will be the first clip of this video. Hi, how are you? <laughs> the clip that I had filmed earlier, I was just like not doing well. I was not thriving in any form of the word. <laughs> Uh, there were just so many things going wrong in my life and so I was talking to the camera and in retrospect that sounded really bad. Those things just don't need to go on the internet. Essentially my contact tour on Sunday and this never happened to me before but there was like a little tiny tear in my contact and I was like, oh, excuse me? Uh, I don't know how it would have torn though, but it was my last pair. My eye doctor is in Brooklyn, and so I had to wear my glasses today all day, and they just kept slipping down my mask, and it was driving me absolutely crazy. It was just way too overstimulating <laughs> and stressful because, like, I paid good money for my glasses. I don't want them to, like, fall on the ground and, like, scuff or break or anything. So that was getting to me. Uh, what else happened that I was like, it's truly all against me. Oh, something at the post office. But anyways, so I was like, I just need <laughs> to settle. Uh, I So I went and got some more printer ink because I had run out because I was printing a bunch of things for school. And then I filmed a journal with me and I haven't filmed a journal with me in so long. Like so long. It's crazy, but it was so nice and so pleasant. So I was just journaling living my best life and listening to the fourth book in the Raven Cycle series. It's the last book. It's called The Raven King. And then I finished that and did my voiceover for my journal with me because I was like in the mood. So I was like, let me just record that one time. And then I made dinner and I finished The Raven King. <sighs> And so for the past like few hours since I finished it, I've just been in mourning. I feel like I haven't mourned the end of a book in a while because you know when you're like with these characters for so long, once it's all over, you're in this state of like mourning. The kids used to call it back in the day a book coma. I don't know. Um, but like that's not even it. Like it's I'm in mourning. I'm mourning the loss of these characters because like I will never get to be with them in the same way again like sure authors can do spin-off series but like to me that most of the time that just feels disingenuous and I feel like those aren't even my characters now they're just like appealing to what the masses want <sighs> I've just been mourning I got it I literally jumped in oh my god I just sat on my moisturizer I jumped in the freaking air and God, the mosquito. It's how you know I'm Belizean. <laughs> Wait, did I do my neck? You guys just watched that. Did I do my neck? Anyways, so, and I feel like this like heavy feeling of mourning, I also bring on to myself because I listen to these books back to back. And so most of my waking hours is listening to these books and like being with these characters and like, I just feel so heavy and sad. Like, it was very pleasant to, like, know them and to, you know, be living my life with them. Um, but now that it's all over, I'm sad. It's, like, this heavy feeling <laughs> of, like, I will never know them. I will never be them as badly as I want to be. Where's my main character moment, you know? I just want one. Not, yeah, I know that like not everybody has have their life doesn't have to be a main character moment. Whatever. I want one. Okay. Duh. So. Leave me alone. <laughs> I just, I just let me live my best life. And I also fear so much. Because apparently they're supposed to make this, this book series into a show. I fear so much. I fear that it's going to be some crap. Some crapola. I feel like it, they could make it really, really, really good if they really harnessed the aesthetics of the place, of the story. Like, sure, have a good plot, but I would like a focus on aesthetics for like what this series is. I think that would make the show very strong. Like, give me the Twilight vibes, you know? That's just what I want. 
Anyways, I'm sad. I'm sad that it's over, but I'm glad that it happened. watching Annabelle's new video, uploading my journal with me and making the thumbnail. Um, I originally was just going to use a screenshot from the overview, but uh, I don't like it. Maybe it's the font. I was trying to use a different font, but I'm currently obsessed with this font, the other font that I bought um, that I keep using. I got this font from Creative Market like an online place where you can buy stuff this oh see it doesn't look so much better that's like yeah that's the vibe this fall i was just trying to use different font to like differentiate because this is a journal with me but i was like maybe it's just the journal page looks too dark but so i'm um what's this cutting it out <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 